Back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm at the BBC. Uh, I will be showing you how you can make primitive glue out of two items, charcoal and sap. Uh, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm looking for is a flat rock where I can collect the sap and then later melt it down. So something that'll take heat really well. Also something that's preferably not frozen. This might have to do, guys. So, I'll pocket this and we'll keep looking. Just looking at all the other... Oh, jeez. Looking at all the other rocks here. I am... I'm not seeing too much other things on the side of this uh, cliff face or whatever you call it. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to use this rock, guys. So... Next, I'm going to show you how you collect the sap. Let's get to it. Alright, next thing you want to do is you want to find a nice sappy tree with like, as you can see there's this white stuff dripping down. That's all sap right there. And you want to find these little beads and you want to pick them up and you want to, hold on, but if I had a cameraman, which I'm sure I might later on, but right now I don't, you would put it on the rock and then you would later melt it because... It's kind of getting stuck on my hand right now, but uh, let's collect some more, and I'll get back to you when I have enough sap. Okay, we have all our sap right here. The next thing we need to do is create a fire so we can melt this down, but we also need charcoal. So let's just let's start a fire. Okay, what we're doing is we're just batoning a bit of kindling for the fire. Uh, yeah. Okay, next thing we're doing, guys is we're making feather sticks so just get some nice curls to light the fire a little easier more more easily because everything's wet uh get back to you when i'm done making these feather sticks okay so we have our feather sticks right here and i have just went ahead and scraped some birch bark right here we're gonna light this on fire and get some charcoal and warm up it's pretty cold out here go Oh, you can stop it now. <laughs> Got the fire going. We're starting to melt the sap. We're getting some good charcoal. Uh, I'll get back to you when it's settled down and there are more coals. And then we'll crush some, we'll crush some of the, the, the charcoal up and mix it in with the melted sap. Uh, what I'm going to do... Jeez. All right. What am I? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these coals right here and I'm gonna crush them up into a fine powder um, while the sap is melting right there. Okay. So see okay. when I got all crushed. We've got up. that sap melted. We're gonna put the charcoal in it in a two to one ratio, meaning that there will be two parts sap to one part charcoal. So let's get that done. We have our sappy glue mixture right here. Now. We're gonna put this on a on two sticks to show you how strong it is, and then we're gonna have it dry. And this acts like a glue stick too. If you have enough, you can actually put it on a stick and have it dry, and then reheat it to use it again. But for now, we're just going to put this in two sticks and glue them together. Then I can show you how strong it is. All right, see you then. We have our stick here glued together by primitive charcoal glue. Uh. So what I did was I batoned it in half, put some glue on it, and suck it together. And now we're just going to dry, and then we're going to test how strong it is by doing a few tests. Okay, I have given the stick a few minutes to dry, and it's strong. If you can get a good look at there, you can tell there is some of the glue there. And let's just do a few tests, starting with this one. Darn. Yeah. It did hold together quite nicely, but it shifted a bit. And 
I think we should test it some more. Darn. Well, <laughs> that actually didn't last as long as I thought it would. But, as you can see, I didn't actually put that much glue on the stick. And... But it, this is strong stuff. Like, it is really, like, on there. And... Yeah. So, uses for this glue. You can use it anywhere from shelter building. You can repair things with it. You could even glue on fletchings for arrows or anything. Just very useful skill to have. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Little Birdie, signing out.